Love it like that elite, fly shit, hold on, you're not it V6, V8, V10, V12 to a private jet Stay bagged up with a bad bitch, always on exotic shit Money, strips, bags, yeah, you know I keep them running Love it like that elite, fly shit, hold on, you're not it What's up, booze? It's your girl, Candy Girl CC, and I am back with another video for my channel. I'm so excited. Yes, today, honey, we are going to go thrift shopping. Yay! You know, I have a special place for thrifting in my heart. It just does something to me, so I'm so excited. We're going to hit up three local shops that are in my area that I've never been to before. Uh, basically, two Goodwills and the Savers. Those are pretty much all the thrift shops in the area. So, let's take a look and see what we can find, shall we? Okay, we're at the first store, as you can see in the background. We're at the Goodwill. I'm so excited. I've never been to this Goodwill before, so it's like treasure hunting when you go thrifting. So I got my mask, I got my $200 budget, and we're going to see what we can do. Let's go. So we're done in the first store. It was okay. It wasn't that bad. I know this is my first time. Um, so I was able to find a couple of things. So I did get my tote here. I got uh, about $40 worth of stuff. So I'll show you guys at the end of the video exactly what I was able to find. But I was able to find some stuff for myself as well as some stuff that I can sell on Poshmark. So that is good. Okay, on to the next store. So we're at the Savers, as you can see in the background. And let me tell you, I have a serious love affair for savers i have found some of the coolest most cutest unique items as savers especially in las vegas but that'll be another video we'll have to go thrifting in vegas for you guys so i'm really excited i stumbled on this one by accident i was coming to the local health store for my boyfriend and i found it but it was closed so i'm so excited it's finally open now um uh, the air quality out here is really really bad they have fires in the area so uh, you guys can't really see but it is so smoky out here it's pretty sad um but yeah we're gonna head inside and see what we can find Yay. Okay, so we're done in savers. I definitely ran up a little bit more of a bag in here and found some more stylish pieces, which what I was expecting, because um, that's what I expect from savers. They tend to have a little bit more trendy, cuter clothes, not necessarily newer trendy, but you can find a lot of cute vintage pieces and that vintage pieces, and I found some good stuff in there. So here's my bag, yay. I did um, buy the little shower bag for $1.49 because I will be back, so it will come in handy. And we're on to our very last door. It's another Goodwill. And and let's see what we can find okay it is extremely hot out here today i had to stop by starbucks and get a pink drink shout out to starbucks right now because it is literally 103 degrees outside which is fucking crazy excuse me for cussing but that's crazy mm. you guys don't believe me let me show you hold on look at this 103 degrees honey what what oh my god like that is ridiculous 103 that blows my mind right now but yeah anyways on to the next door okay you guys we're at our very last stop on our thrift haul tour it's another goodwill um i can't believe it got up to 110 degrees out here today so this is probably going to be the shortest trip i'm kind of ready to head inside get to see some ac or get to feel some ac um yeah because this is kind of ridiculous but hey this is a typical summer day out where I live in the part of the Bay Area that I live, but that's okay, you know what I'm saying? We'll make it. Anyway, let's throw this mask on and get in this bad boy. All right, let's see what we can find. So that's it, we are done with the last store, the last Goodwill, and honey, we blew a little bit of a bag in this one. I mean, in the thrift world. We spent $46 and we got two bags worth of stuff. I ended up thinking that I wasn't gonna find much in this one, and at the very last minute, I saw a bunch of BDUs. So that's military uniform. So I snagged like most of them that didn't have stains. So I'm really excited about that. I think those are gonna do really well on the Poshmark because a lot of people are into camo. Maybe not so much as now, but definitely um, one the weather starts cooling down a bit okay so we're good now let's get out of here because this heat honey oh my god oh my god we got to go all right so what's up booze we finally made it in the house oh my god it feels so good to be inside had to pull a hair up on this one seriously my buck chest was like sus we cannot breathe my car okay 
Anywho, so I'm really excited about all the things that we did get on this thrift shopping trip. I'm glad you guys were able to see some of my favorite spots and um, yeah, and all that good stuff. So all together, we spent about $130. We spent $39 at the first Goodwill. We spent $55 at Savers, um, but I had a 20% discount because I am a club member. So that ended up being $44. And then we ended up spending $46 at the last um, Goodwill. So my budget was $200. I bought $225 with me so with the 130 we're well under budget so yay that's always good so let's jump right into it let's check out what we got um i'm just gonna go in the order of the stores uh, that we actually visited so we can see as we go what we got here okay so the first bag boom boom goodwill got that here and I managed to get things for myself as well as um, things that I could resell on Poshmark. As you guys know, I'm a reseller too, part-time reseller. So I got a lot of things that I could actually resell. And I'm excited because actually most of the stuff that I got, I can resell and get my money back and it'll pay for uh, the clothes that I bought for myself. So I probably will end up making more money than what I spent. Um, so that's always a plus. All right, so let's jump right into it. So at the first Goodwill I got, this is the very first thing I saw when I went in there. I got this cute little vintage looking purse. It's red. It's got uh, two separate compartments. It's got inside compartments. It's got some cute gold hardware. And when I look for purses, I look for something a little funky, something that I wouldn't buy in like a normal store, something that's kind of hard to find. The straps are really cool on this guy. Yeah, I like this one a lot. So this will be like a little fun addition. I have a red purse, but it's big, but this will be um, my Moschino purse, but this will be um, just a little fun something to wear. Um, you know, when I'm going out or I don't feel like carrying something large, which is hardly ever, but that's okay. I thought it was cute. Um, yeah. All right. So what else did we get? That one is actually from myself, but I like it enough and I think it's cool enough that if um, I get tired of it, that it'll still sell on Poshmark, but that one is for me. So this next item I bought is not for me, but... I think I can fit it, maybe. It looks like I can fit it. But I bought it to sell on Poshmark. It is a Victoria's Secret Sports bra. So the Victoria's Secret Sport, that brand, the BSX, Victoria's Secret Sports bra. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much this purse was. This purse was $6.49. The Victoria's Secret Sports bra, Um, this one is I paid about $3 for it, I think. I should probably get my receipts. I paid about $3 for this one. It was actually on the $6.49 rack for activewear, but she only charged me for the bra price, so thank you, girl. Um, I think this one's gonna do well on Poshmark. The bright pink color always stands out. Girls love pink. Victoria's Secret always does really well on there, um, so I'm looking forward to selling this one. This one is a size 34 double D, so I believe I'm a double D. I'm more like a 38 double D. Probably could get into this one, but it'll be really busty. But I think I'm going to sell this one on Poshmark. So yes, the Victoria's Secret Sports Bra, $349. Next thing I got is for me. And it is a denim jacket. I really like this color. I think it's going to be cute for fall. Um, I can always dress it up and add some patches, add some studs to it. And I actually got a top to go with it already. So I have an outfit in mind. It's in great condition. There's no stains, no tears, no holes, no rips. It's made by Morona, which is like a Target brand, but that's okay. I mean, it has, I think the color gives it some flair. So if you guys can see that, it's a nice, definitely a good color for fall. And I probably can get away in the summertime as well, but it's so freaking hot here as I keep talking about because I'm so blown away by that. It's so freaking hot here. I probably won't wear it for a while, but maybe a night, maybe a night. So yeah, got that. And this one was $7.49. So $7.49. $7.49. All right. The next top I got was actually from the men's section. And this one's going to be for me as well. Um, it's just like a knit jersey 
kind of see-through crop top. And this stuff is always cute to kind of add some edge to any of your outfits. Um, it's great for the summer because it has a hole. I can definitely wear like a sports bra underneath neath this, throw on some joggers and some tennis shoes or some joggers and some slides and be doing a damn thing in this one. So it's pretty simple, nothing much to it, but I just thought it was cute. It just adds like a sporty look to things. So this one again is for me. This one was probably like five or six dollars. I don't exactly remember. Um, but yeah, got it out of the men's section. The next item that I got was this Lula Row dress. Now this dress is not necessarily my style, but I will wear it. I did buy it to sell on Poshmark because I see that Lula Row does really well because they have such interesting patterns on their clothes. So I thought this one would be a good one to sell on Poshmark. Now when I shop, even when I'm shopping for Poshmark, I tend to buy stuff that's in my size anyway. So if worse comes to worse and it doesn't sell and for whatever reason I need an outfit, then I'm able to still wear it. So this one I bought in a large, of course, was the only size they had. And it has like the flare at the bottom, the caps, well not the cap, but the short sleeves. Um, I don't know what material this is. It's pretty interesting, but the print is pretty cool. I probably won't wear it. I mean, maybe I will, maybe for like a family dinner or something like that. And then I'll put it on Poshmark mark to sell so like I said LuLaRoe does pretty well on there and um, I'm excited about this one I think this one is going to do pretty good on Poshmark this one was $8.49 was it on sale no it's not a sale tag so you know when you go thrifting usually at like a Goodwill or a Savers they do color-coded sale days so certain days like their blue tags will be on sale or certain days their red tags or the green tags or whatever color purple tags will be on sale. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff that was on sale today. I managed to get one or two pieces, unfortunately, but that's just the luck of the draw. I know also that they had at the Goodwill a 50% off sale. That was yesterday. So I'm so mad I missed it. Um, but that's okay. Um, we still didn't spend very much money, so... We did a good job anyway. So this last little shirt, this one is for me as well. Whenever I go shopping, I don't necessarily look at every single item. I just look for, whenever I go thrift shopping, I just look for prints and patterns that grab my attention. So this one definitely grabbed my attention. Um, it has the cool little sequins, the iridescent sequins, has some like shell-like buttons. It's a cool little pattern. It's also a like a uh, tie bottom, so I can tie the bottom and it's a button up. I thought this one was cute to wear with the orange jacket. If you can kind of see where I'm going with that, that'll be cute to wear with that. Maybe some brown shorts and some like gladiator lace-up sandals and I'll be good to go. I think that one was super cute. So this one was for me. Um, I don't remember how much this one was. Maybe $5? Yeah, it's a size medium, however, and I'm not able to try it on because I don't think the dressing rooms are open right now. Um, so I'm hoping it'll fit. If anything, it'll be a little busty, maybe a little tight, but that's okay. We can work with it um for the deal and it's kind of cute so yeah we got that guy and that is everything that we got from the first goodwill so all in all like i said all that stuff cost me about 39 dollars which is pretty cheap considering i got how many pieces did i get one two three four five six pieces and half of them are for me to resell so not bad all right so let's move on to the savers so Savers tends to be a little bit more expensive than the Goodwill, but you can find some like, I think you can find like more stylish things. Like I was saying earlier when we were outside, I think you can find some more stylish things there. So the first thing that I saw, hopefully I can open it. Well, I actually saw two of these, two prints like this. Um, this one is a leopard and there was like another solid print of this bag and I don't have any leopard bags and I thought this was cute. So it's made of um, patent leather and it has a lot of rhinestones. I love it. It's very gaudy and I think it's cute. Um, it's a big bag. I'm definitely into big bags, but it has plenty of compartments inside, which is awesome because my life is a mess if I can't organize a little bit. 
Um, and it's very clean, so it was very clean. So I think it's new, so that's good. Um, this one I spent $19.99 on, so this was probably the most expensive piece that I bought. Um, at first I was like, I don't want to spend $19.99, that's too much, that's too much. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I'm pretty much still in their budget, so I guess I can splurge a little bit. It's a little dusty, I guess it's been there for a while, but that's okay. At least it's not missing any, from what I can tell, it's not missing any rhinestones, I can just wipe this wet off. And it's a cute little leopard purse with the bow and the rhinestones love it love it love it this one's for me this one's definitely for me but um i can see it going on poshmark eventually let's check the back pockets oh yeah it's really clean it must have been new um this one is for me but it'll probably go on poshmark at some point in time and i'm pretty sure it'll do pretty well as well because it's pretty unique next thing i got from the savers were uh oh yes girl gotta get them hot shorts um gotta have that booty out it is summertime for sure now these bad boys are so cute <laughs> the silver pleather shorts these are from forever 21 i got a size large which of course was the only size they had because it's the only one that they had but these are so cute i could definitely see this with like a white crop top and some slides or some lace-up sandals and be doing my damn thing actually i bought something at the last goodwill that i was going to put with it and maybe i'll do a separate video on how i styled all the pieces that i got from this haul if you guys want to see that you know let me know in the comments and maybe i'll do that as well so i got these bad boys i thought they were cute it's definitely the season for them. So they were $6.49. On the tag it says size 13-14, but I doubt it's a 13-14. These are just a straight large, but I know I can make them work. They're not very stretchy, but they're definitely going to have my cheeks out, which I always love to do. So these are for me as well. But again, these are for me, but uh, I think these will do pretty well on Poshmark too because they're pretty unique. I sold a, a couple pairs of leather or pleather shorts on there before, and they did really well. So yeah. From the savers i also got this one wasn't all that um but it was only two dollars what did i pay i paid 2.79 so it's kind of boho it's just a little crop top um it has like um i don't know if that's crochet but like let me see if you guys can see oh yeah you can kind of see so it has a little detail to it like i said it's definitely boho i'm into crop tops i'm kind of into boho sometimes um so this one was cute like i said the price is really what sold me the two dollars this one is also for me and yeah i like this one 279 is what i paid size extra large and it's made by exhilaration so that's like a target brand but that's okay i can dig some target brand clothes you know what i'm saying two dollars i can dig almost anything honey let's see what else we got so i got this and i think this is really cute and it's in good condition so I got this bra top here and it's made by Victoria's Secret Pink. This is probably the second most expensive thing that I bought. It was $9.49, but I paid that much money for it um, because I think that it's going to do well. So I bought it for Poshmark. Um, let me see what size it is. It is. A medium double D so I'm definitely a double D I'm more like a large double D so I don't know if I'll be able to fit into this we'll try and we'll see um, for those that don't know I do have an OnlyFans so all this lacy lingerie stuff always comes in handy uh, but I did buy it for Poshmark because like I said Victoria's Secret does really well it's a cute color um, cute color scheme and it's unique um, I don't know what you call this like a it's almost like a um what do you call that thing sports bra it almost looks like a sports bra but it's not so it's like a camisole type top really cute you could dress this up you could actually wear this to the club well there is no club with corona there is no club but if you wanted to save it you could wear it for the club it's good for the fall too because look at the fall colors and it's pretty colors this looks good on my skin tone as you can see it looks pretty good so i like that one but i'll probably end up selling it um we'll see i'll try to squeeze into it we'll see how it works and that one was $9.49. The next thing I got, I bought because it was on sale. So this was one of the few pieces that I was able to get on sale. Um, I really like the color of it. I think this will look good on my skin. See how that pops? 
yeah this is a uh it'll look good on my skin so it's a bathing suit it says swim and tonic which i'm not much into drinking i like to drink a little bit but i'm not much into drinking enough to put it on my bathing suit but like i said it was on sale so it was 5.99 and then it's 50 percent off of the green tags at the savers today so i paid like 2.99 for it um which is cool for a bathing suit and like i said i could use this for only fans activities or if I do make it to the beach at some point in time, I haven't been to the beach in forever, this would be nice, or to the swimming pool. It's made by No Boundaries, which I feel like I've heard before, but I'm not sure. And it's a medium size seven to nine. So we're gonna be squeezing it. It looks pretty big though. Like I know I can fit that. That's why I'm not really tripping. If anything, it'll be cheeky. I just like the color. $2.99, baby. Like I said, I can dig anything for $2.99. The next thing I got, like when I go to Sabres, like I always look for cute ass belts because they always have cute vintage, like really ornamented belts there. And so I got this one, um, it's fuchsia. I don't have any fuchsia belts. It's fuchsia and gold, very stretchy, which I need, um, but I love it. It's very cute. Can you see that? Look at that. The stone color is pretty. It's a pretty color. It's in good condition. Um, let me see. I don't know who makes it. It says Deco made in the USA, but it was only $3.99. So yes, honey. Actually, I buy a lot of vintage belts, um, like I said, ad savers, but they don't do very well on Poshmark for some reason. I don't know why. I just, maybe it's the pricing. Maybe people know they're vintage and you can get it for cheap. I don't know what it is, but I put tons of vintage belts up and I maybe have sold like one or two and I have tons here. So it's like, hmm, they're more for me than anything. So this one's for me. Okay. The next thing that I got from the Savers is this crop top. Do, 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 do. And there's nothing really special about it. I just like the colors. It's light and airy. I love a good crop top. I'm definitely a crop top in high waisted shorts or high waisted leggings type of girl. So I thought it was cute. Um, it was cheap. It was only $2.99. And it's from Forever 21. So that's cheaper than what uh Forever 21 would sell it for. For show, for show. You're not getting it for $2.99 at Forever 21, and it's a size medium, so. So the last thing that I got from the Savers was another belt. Like I said, I love their belts. They always have great belts. And this one is pretty unique. I don't think I have any gold belts. So this would be a good addition to my collection. It actually says it's a size large. I didn't even see that when I was buying it. I was just hoping for the best. But it's this gold belt. So this is the pattern of it. So it's chain interwoven with like the pleather material. Here's the buckle, pretty simple buckle. I usually like a bigger buckle than that, but the belt itself was so cute that I thought I could just get away without um, having such a big buckle. This one's cute and it does fit. I always try my belts on, honey, because if it doesn't fit, that's a waste of money. This one was also $3.99. So yeah, so all together, that was everything that I got from the Savers. We spent $55, but like I said, I was a member of their club, so I got a 20% discount, so I ended up spending $44, which was awesome. Shout out to Savers for saving me some money. That's probably why they're called Savers. Yes, honey, love it, love it, love it. Oh yeah, this is actually the last thing I got. I got this tote. They don't give your totes away. The Goodwill, the first Goodwill I went to gave me a tote. This one was $1.49, but it's really big. You can never go wrong. You always need these bags. I can go shopping or whatever have you. So this is the very last thing that I got. $1.49, pretty cool, big Savers logo on it. Yeah. All right. So we're almost done. We're on to the last store. I actually have two more bags to go through. And um, a lot of them are the same thing. So like I was telling you when we were out in the parking lot, I found BDUs. Now I love BDUs. I don't know if it's because I was about to go into the military. So I just love that look, but you can always dress up or dress down like a military jacket and some military camo pants. So like you can never go wrong with camo. So camo is definitely for the fall. Uh, you can wear it whenever, but you know, camo is like a staple that you can always do something with. So I bought a lot of camo jackets and I bought like different colors. So they had, what did I get? 
They have the traditional, oh, these are pants. I'll show you those in a second. They have the traditional green. Now this one's an Air Force jacket, as you can see by the Air Force patch on it. They did take off the rest of the patches, which you're actually supposed to do if you do anything with your military uniforms. They took off the rest of the patches. So it looks a little janky in the patch area, but I mean, I could try to work with it a little bit, pull out some of the strings. Hopefully that doesn't mess it up, what's that? Yeah, okay, those come right out good. Looks a little janky, but I feel like I could still sell this. So I already have a BDU jacket that is like my go-to BDU military coat, camo coat, but I bought most of these to sell on Poshmark now. Believe it or not, they were in the $6.49 section and the girl, she gave it to me for $3.49. So I was like, <laughs> okay thank you boo so um i'm gonna sell these probably for like 20 25 dollars a piece if you're interested you can go to my poshmark.com candy girl cc and purchase um this one is a size small regular which means it's a small regular but like i said these are pretty oversized um so you can do a lot with them. They have the multiple pockets. They have really big pockets on them, which are awesome. And they're buttoned up and they're pretty lightweight. So you can wear these pretty much all year round. Definitely in the colder months if you layer up. So I bought, uh, if you, yeah. So I bought um, a few different styles. So that's the traditional camo and this is the, like, the desert camo. So this one I got this one is another Air Force jacket. This one's cool because it still has the patches on it. I love the patches. That gives it that authentic military feel to it. So this one I love too. This one's pretty big. Um, these were all in the men's section. So this one is a large regular. So that's actually my size. It looks pretty big though. This one has a little stain on it, but that's okay. I mean, you can get away with that. Large regular. Air Force Desert Camo. Love it, love it, love it. Again, I think those are gonna do pretty good on Poshmark. So I'm not gonna go through every single military item that I bought because a lot of them were just repeats, but I also got some camo pants. These are the traditional lace up bottoms. So you have to pull the drawstring in order to make it tighter on your ankles. And it has the adjustable straps on the side so you can pull it to make it tighter. It also has buttons and pretty deep pockets in their cargo pants. So everybody loves a good cargo pant. I know I used to be a serious cargo pant fanatic back in the day. Um, but everybody loves a good cargo pant. These guys are a size small regular. So you can actually wear it in combination with the other one that I got. And I'm not sure how much she charged me for these. I think like $4 because my total was a whole lot cheaper than I was expecting. So I'll probably have these for like 4 or $5. And again, I'll probably sell them for like $26, $28 on my Poshmark. So yeah. So let's see what else we got here. Another BDU jacket. Another camo military jacket. I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. This one is a small long. So if you're tall small long got that one um got another one this one is another small long so another one small long Got another BDU jacket, a small regular. So these must all came from the same person. They must have just donated like hell of them. And this one's actually in really good condition as well. Just has some strings from where the patches are that need to be pulled out. I wonder if there's any money in the pockets. Anyway, so there's that one. And like I said, all these will be available on my Poshmark. I'm not sure the pricing, I'll probably do like 25 a piece. This one's cool. This is another Air Force one. It still has the patches on it. If you're into patches, US Air Force Base, I don't know, uh, maybe Medical Corps. It looks like a little medical sign. And then it has the, oh, it even has the person's name on it. Oh, they had a long name, Madramoto. Madramoto. 
to Matamoto. Oh, wow. Air Mobility Command. Okay. Nice. Air Force. So this one has patches. This one is a size medium regular. So this one will probably be more size. I might actually keep this one because it has the patches and I like it. But I already have one, so I'll think about it. Actually, I think before I sell these, I may get these um, dry clean so that they're all fresh and pressed and look really nice and presentable when I try to sell them. That definitely will up the value. And a dry cleaning will probably cost me like three or four dollars. So we'll see. What else did I get? Man, I bought a lot of camo. That's like the majority of what I bought. First, I didn't think I was gonna find anything in this last Goodwill but I found all these camel. So I got another pair of camel pants. These are a large long, so I might keep these. Yes, I think I'm gonna keep these because I'm always looking for good. Yeah, these are for me. These are definitely for me. Large long, and I like these because they have the jogger bottom so you don't have to struggle with the strings. Oh my God, yes, love it. So I'm gonna keep these. Let me separate these right now because these are for me, large long. Cool, what else did we get? So that's it. That's it for the camel stuff that we got. We didn't get any more camo. That's it. That's enough of the camo. So what else did I get? I got another belt. They actually had like six or seven of these. They had a lot of these. So um, I was thinking that maybe I should buy more and maybe sell them mass on um, Poshmark or maybe even for my store. But I don't know. Are these big chunky belts still in? I don't know. I like them because they make my waist look smaller when I put them on. This one was a little bit too small for me, but I grabbed it because I could probably get away with it. I couldn't really try it on because it had like the little belt thingy on it. But I mean, I can make it work. Um, if anything, I could sell it. This one is a cute pink color. It has the enormous, enormous. Is that a word? I don't know. The ginormous um, belt buckle, which I love. Gaudy big gigantic belt buckles. I love that. And this one I paid about $3.49 for. I don't know what size it is. It's obviously not a size large. It might be a medium or a small. And like I said, they had a whole lot. So if it does well, I'll probably put this one on Poshmark because I don't think I'll be able to fit it. Um, but if it does well, I can always go back and buy some more. Hopefully it'll still be there. $3.49 for that guy. This next piece was on sale and it's totally not the season for it. But like I said, number one, it was on sale. Number two, the brand I feel will do pretty well on Poshmark, which is Kendall and Kylie. And um, it's like a staple. So it is a Kendall and Kylie bomber jacket in a burgundy color. Um, has a zip up um, sleeves. Um, are there any pockets? Yeah, there's pockets in front. Pockets in front here. Again, it's a size small. Has that nice lining. I don't know what you call that material. I'm blanking out right now, but the nice shiny lining. And it was originally $6.49. It was 50% off because it had a blue tag and at that goodwill, the blue tags were on sale. And so I paid $3 for it. So, I mean, if I get 15 bucks for it on Poshmark, that's a win. So I think this one will do well. $3, Kendall and Kylie, who can knock me for that? I mean, I can take anything for two or three dollars. Okay, let's see what else we got. Now this next item is for me. I was just thinking like, I'm always looking at, <laughs> I have tons of slutty clothes, but I need more clothes that I can wear to family events. You know what I'm saying? So when grandpa comes into town and mom wants to have dinner, I definitely need more clothes for that. So that's why I bought this dress. It's also a good summer dress. Um, I just got these Lace and Michael Kors sandals off of Poshmark um, that are like black leather braided. And I thought, oh wait, is that black or is that navy? Oh, it's navy. That's okay, I still wear black leather. You can't even tell. Um, and it's from Forever 21 Plus. It's a size extra large. And it's sleeveless. Has the cinched waist, which actually looks good on me because it's gonna be high and then it'll flow out low on the bottom. So it'll look good. And um, yeah, I think it's cute. How much did I pay? I paid $8.49 for this one. So that was kind of expensive. I was like, their dresses are kind of expensive. I didn't really like that, but that's okay. I didn't buy very many dresses. I think this is the only dress that I did buy. Yeah, this is the only dress that I did buy, but 
can't go wrong with it it'll serve the purpose even if i wear it one or two times i got my money out of it and like i said it's always good for those family events where i have nothing to wear to boop all right we are down to our very last item we have made it to the bottom ladies of this pretty large haul that we got from the three stores that we made it to this one i thought was just a little cute a little trendy um it's more camo but it's not the traditional green camo it is this crop top nylon windbreaker jacket so this is cute you like the colors i was actually thinking when i saw it i could wear it with the silver shorts that i got so i was thinking that would be cute it's a size medium so it's a little small for me so i'll probably wear it like once or twice and then i'll put it on poshmark um it has the half zip front and the collar stands up or i guess you could fold it down but i think no the collar stands up and it has a cinched waist at the bottom and i like the colors the colors are pretty i think this will go good with the silver shorts so when i try to shop i try to shop in outfits or try to go with something that i already have and yeah so for this one i paid i don't know what i paid i honestly don't know what i paid i paid like four or six dollars for it probably like four because the girl was really nice to me she really jugged me for real for, for those who are from the bay she jugged the hell out of me she got me a cool little price so i was thinking i was gonna be in the 80s and when my shit was like 44 i was like oh we in there like swimwear but anyway that is it my friends we have made it to the end of this video thank you so much this was so much fun i was just so excited to do this video with you guys and i'm glad i got to take you along with me on the way it was sort of a little mini vlog and we made it through that 110 degree heat out here what 110 crazy we made it though and we got some awesome pieces got some stuff for us to resell got some stuff for us to wear and yeah i'm so excited so if you like this video hit the thumbs up if you want to see more from me, just leave in the comments what you want to see. Like I said, maybe I'll do the video where I actually do the, uh, the styling and the try-on of all the items that I bought from this haul. Um, if you want to keep up with all of my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And turn on your notifications so you can be the first to know when I have a new video, all right? Thank you so much. This is your girl, Candy Girl CC. This was our thrift haul at Savers and Goodwill. And I'll see you later. Bye. Hold on, you're not it. V6, V8, V10, V12 to a private jet. Stay bagged up, put a bag in. Always.